In a remark from Professor Carlos Frank of Durham University, I've spent my entire life building a certain view of the world, and now that idea is being questioned. I welcome it because it is how we advance in science. James Webb is overturning almost everything in cosmology that has been accepted as true for the past century. A new ultra-deep image demonstrates that we have made mistakes in astronomy. The telescope that was going to show us the first stars of the universe is destroying the prior worldview and may usher in a new science. Not all researchers are scared. Many scientists, affected by the new information, welcome the advancements because it has been obvious for a long time that something was wrong with our previous hypothesis. The inconsistencies in measuring the rate of expansion of the universe ought to have woken academics up years ago. Instead of properly reading the signals, they stuck to outdated notions. The cosmic microwave background radiation, CMBR, is thought to be the oldest light in the universe. The CMBR was formed approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang when the universe had cooled to a point where electrons and protons could form stable hydrogen atoms. Researchers refer to this transformation as reionization, which made the universe permeable to light. The CMBR was discovered in 1964 by American physicists Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson. While developing a new type of antenna, they heard a constant noise approaching from the sky in every direction. This discovery was long regarded as one of the most compelling pieces of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory. Penzias and Wilson shared the Nobel Prize and made history in astrophysics. The CMB most likely gives us a glimpse of the young universe. Tiny temperature changes provide significant information about the circumstances in the universe shortly after the Big Bang. Scientists have used the CMB to measure the universe's expansion rate and other factors. Edwin Hubble, an astronomer, had already made this computation in the late 1920s. Hubble discovered that distant galaxies move away from us in all directions at speeds proportional to their distance. Today, we refer to these measurements as the Hubble rule or the Hubble constant. Of course, Hubble did not have the advanced measurement techniques employed decades later when the CMB was discovered. Researchers recalculated the rate, and the new figure was substantially lower than Hubble's original estimate. Later, scientists recalculated the rate using type IA supernovae as standard candles. Astronomers had access to such stable light that it could be utilized as a dependable measuring point. The discrepancy in determining the universe's expansion rate has existed since the 1990s. Since then, researchers have known, or, more accurately, suspected, that something was wrong with our evaluation of measurement techniques or the concept of cosmic expansion. The S8 tension, or Hubble tension, refers to the difference between various measurements of the universe's rate of expansion, which has far-reaching repercussions beyond a simple measurement discrepancy. Many discoveries reveal profound insights into how we have previously understood the universe. For a long time, scientists were at a loss. Since its inception, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided scientists with unexpected results, which may now shed light on the conundrum of the universe's expansion rate. Galaxies that are so mature and old that their origin must have occurred before the Big Bang are entirely at odds with traditional science and astrophysics. There is no longer talk of mere measurement inconsistencies. Instead, academics are discussing the most serious problem in contemporary astronomy. Not only could the universe's expansion rate be incorrect, but the entire idea of expansion, or even the Big Bang itself, is being tested. Webb's photos reveal evidence of a cosmos vastly different from what we have long believed. The tension served as an early warning, and all researchers who continue to believe in outdated theories now face a test. Right now, do we actually know anything about the universe? Many scientists are now standing on the rubble of their life's work, staring into space in hopelessness, unable to comprehend what they are seeing. Given the current scientific dilemma, we must ask ourselves, what do we truly know about the universe? To address this inquiry, we must first comprehend how science works. Theoretical scientists employ a complicated network of mathematical models, empirical data, and deductive reasoning to reach conclusions ranging from the general to the specific. Their expertise is based on a combination of observed events, experimental data, and extensive theoretical analysis. The name, theory, alone indicates that these are creations and ideas, not reality. We only have practical knowledge in the form of images from telescopes, sound waves, and radiation captured by radio telescopes, as well as the most up-to-date information from neutrino measuring systems or gravitational wave detectors. With the James Webb Space Telescope, 
We now have an instrument at our disposal that allows us to break down the earliest light into individual frequencies and conduct analyses in ways that were previously impossible. Webb can show us which elements were prevalent in galaxies over 13 billion years ago, how much mass was contained, and how many stars existed. This indicates that the telescope can reconstruct a galaxy's form and direction of travel. However, Webb may have issues in some of its photographs. Due to the massive accretion disks, the telescope cannot always distinguish whether we are looking at galaxies or black holes that shine as brightly as galaxies. We must confront the fact that our science has long accepted too many possible outcomes as realities while ignoring alternative explanations. Research has long been certain that it is correct. However, the most recent findings from the James Webb Telescope provide crucial clues for replacing ideas with new truths, as has happened dozens of times in science. Scientists are currently awaiting new results. The data are far too bizarre, and it appears impossible for many researchers to come up with fresh interpretations right now. The new discoveries are challenging the very foundations of modern physics, which frightens many scientists. Today's physics courses are mostly based on Isaac Newton's discoveries in the 17th century. For centuries, his principles of motion and gravity served as the cornerstone of our physical understanding of the universe. His theories explained the movement of objects under normal conditions and worked well on Earth. However, in space, his concepts required expansion, something Albert Einstein substantially accomplished at the turn of the 20th century. His special theory of relativity, published in 1905, transformed our view of space and time. Einstein demonstrated that space and time are interrelated and depend on the observer's motion. The general theory of relativity, published in 1915, expanded on this concept by providing mathematical evidence of gravitational phenomena based on the curvature of spacetime caused by massive objects like stars or galaxies. Einstein's theories were generally cohesive, yet he understood his limits. Throughout his life, he was aware that his theories would never be sufficient to describe the entire cosmos. He hoped to discover the ultimate formula for the universe, but he did not succeed. Interestingly, no other researcher has succeeded to this day. Where is the mistake? Wouldn't it be interesting to find out? Michio Kaku, a prominent astronomer from the United States, stated in an interview that the person who solves this challenge will undoubtedly win the Nobel Prize. Scientists must now examine the facts. Where have they ignored clues? Where might they have misconstrued events? Are our telescopes at fault? Dark matter and dark energy are among the most likely sources of the cosmic catastrophe. Our current theories of the cosmos suggest that dark matter and dark energy together account for around 95% of the universe's composition. However, despite their supposed dominance in the universe, dark matter and dark energy remain elusive. Scientists have not yet been able to directly observe or measure them, and their existence is inferred only through indirect evidence, such as the gravitational effects on galaxies and cosmic expansion. If our understanding of dark matter and dark energy is flawed, it could mean that a significant portion of modern cosmology is built on incorrect assumptions. Could it be that what we perceive as dark matter and dark energy are simply misinterpretations of other physical phenomena that we have yet to comprehend? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has introduced new challenges to these long-standing theories. If galaxies observed by Webb are too mature and massive for the timeline established by the Big Bang Theory, then something fundamental is missing from our understanding of cosmic evolution. Are we facing an era in which our current model of the universe must be completely reworked? The possibility that the Big Bang Theory is incorrect raises profound questions. If the universe did not originate from a singular event, then what alternative models could explain the observations? Some researchers are beginning to explore radical new ideas, including cyclical models of the universe, where expansion and contraction occur repeatedly over vast time scales. Others suggest that our universe may be part of a larger multiverse, with different regions following different physical laws. The implications of these questions extend far beyond astronomy. They challenge the very foundation of physics, influencing fields like quantum mechanics, general relativity, and even the search for a unified theory of everything. For decades, scientists have sought to reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity, two of the most successful yet seemingly incompatible theories in physics. The discovery of anomalies in cosmic expansion might provide crucial clues towards solving this mystery. But where do we go from here? The scientific method demands that we test new hypotheses, develop more advanced instruments, 
and remain open to paradigm shifts. The JWST is only the beginning. Future telescopes and experiments will continue to refine our understanding of the cosmos. It is possible that in the next few decades, we may witness a complete transformation in our understanding of the universe, just as Einstein's work revolutionized physics in the early 20th century. The journey of discovery is far from over, and the biggest revelations may still lie ahead. The universe, nevertheless, has never been directly witnessed, and so its true existence has never been established. Either they do not exist, and we need to explain the universe's expansion and galaxy dynamics separately, or both have qualities that we do not yet understand. One theory now being discussed is that the physical properties of the two dark components have changed over time, which may indicate that we are dealing with some form of intelligence. The next thing to be tested is gravity. This force, which presumably causes attraction or curvature in space-time due to mass, has yet to be demonstrated. Einstein is significantly responsible for the concept of the curvature of space and time, which has been repeatedly proven correct. However, we cannot rule out the possibility that gravity has entirely different qualities than previously thought or that the gravitational force between objects is caused by a different mechanism. Several values, known as cosmic constants, have been established in modern astrophysics and cosmology over the years. These values are largely trustworthy because they rarely change. Calculations have revealed that slight fluctuations in these purported constants bring about new momentum in the universe, allowing us to explain a variety of events without the existence of dark energy. It is also possible that our interpretations of the redshift of light are erroneous and that we have been measuring incorrect distances within the universe, determining galaxies' ages for decades. Perhaps our beliefs regarding the origin of the universe were likewise erroneous. We may have misread the cosmic microwave background radiation. It's also possible that there is no beginning or end to the universe. This would apply to a single point of origin and suggest that the Big Bang theory is incorrect. Despite our sophisticated technology, we cannot rule out slight errors in the Webb telescope or other observational instruments. In the midst of this crisis, scientists and engineers agree that instrumentation flaws exist. Interpretation and processing of data are critical. The field of cosmology is always open to possibilities. Right now, it stands at a crossroads where the foundations laid over centuries are being challenged by new observations and information from cutting-edge instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope. Not only do these difficulties raise questions about established theories, but they also open up avenues for entirely new understandings of the universe and its origins. One of the fundamental tenets of contemporary cosmology is the concept of the Big Bang, which proposes that the universe originated from a point that was infinitely dense and has been expanding ever since. This theory has been supported by various lines of evidence, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, Hubble constant measurements, and the distribution of galaxies across the cosmos. The discovery of the CMB in 1964 was a watershed moment in cosmology. It provided strong evidence for the Big Bang theory by showing a uniform glow of radiation across the sky, which is believed to be the hot afterglow of a dense universe in its earliest state, before it became transparent to light. This relic radiation has since been studied extensively to understand the composition, age, and geometry of the universe. However, recent observations and measurements, particularly from the JWST, have introduced significant challenges to this established framework. The JWST, with its unprecedented sensitivity and resolution, has started to unveil galaxies and phenomena that defy conventional explanations. For instance, the discovery of galaxies that appear to be older than expected raises fundamental questions about the timeline of cosmic evolution and the processes leading to the formation of stars and galaxies. Moreover, discrepancies in the measurement of the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble tension, remain despite years of improvement in observational techniques. While the CMB-based measurements point to a particular rate of expansion, independent measurements using type IA supernovae as standard candles yield slightly different results. This discrepancy hints at potential flaws in our understanding of either cosmic distances, the nature of dark energy driving the universe's acceleration, dark matter, or both. Dark energy is still a mysterious component of the universe, comprising the vast majority of its content, yet defying direct detection. These enigmatic substances are invoked to explain the observed gravitational effects on the accelerated expansion of galaxies and the entire universe, respectively but their precise nature and properties continue to elude scientists, leading to various theoretical and experimental efforts to uncover their identities. In addition to these theoretical challenges, 
the JWST has provided stunning visual evidence of phenomena that challenge our current understanding of cosmic history. Images of distant galaxies, some of which existed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, suggest a complex and rapidly evolving early universe that may require new theoretical frameworks to comprehend. The JWST's primary capacity to analyze the spectra of light from these ancient galaxies sheds light on their chemical composition, star formation rates, and even the presence of vitally important heavy elements necessary for the formation of planets and life. These observations not only enhance our comprehension of galaxy formation, but also raise intriguing questions about the conditions under which life could emerge in the universe. Furthermore, the concept of cosmic inflation, which posits a rapid exponential expansion of the universe immediately after the Big Bang, remains a topic of debate and scrutiny. While inflationary models offer a sophisticated explanation for the observed large-scale structure of the universe and the uniformity of the CMB, alternative theories that do not require inflation are actively pursued to reconcile theoretical discrepancies and observational challenges. Beyond the discipline of theoretical physics, JWST discoveries also have profound implications for our philosophical comprehension of the universe. They force us to reconsider fundamental questions about the nature of space, time, and existence itself. If the universe's expansion rate varies across different scales or epochs, as some data suggest, it could imply that our cosmic neighborhood is just a tiny part of a vastly larger and more intricate multiverse. In addition, the JWST's observations of distant galaxies and their development over tens of billions of years provide a glimpse into our cosmic beginnings and future. By studying how galaxies, 